Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, and we're back. I had to double check a setting. Nope. Aw, oh, asshole. No worries, man. Gonna be close. Add three to the meowter. <sighs> and the AI on that is just stupid. It's like you could almost drive blindfolded on 50 and then it's like, oh, 100? Nah.
Gotta keep this uh, redder handy. Oh, that was a really bad turn. Ah, stupid grass. <laughs> yeah, some of the grass is uh, really thick. So it'll function like dirt. gonna be really tight. Had to fall in the water. Can I just get the star? the uh, fire barriers have hitboxes. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna save these. Hopefully I don't get hit by a lightning. Knock on wood. a star. No! I knew it was there too and I tried to avoid it but wasn't able to get out of the dash or yeah the Rift. Ah, come on. 
Nope. Oh my god. What the hell? No. I gotta avoid my own red shell. <laughs> yeah, I seriously doubt I'm gonna get as lucky as I did last uh, time. On Rainbow Road and get three stars. Come on. Mm. Oh, come on. I still don't find that stupid. <laughs> oh no, the two princesses are going at it again. Would have thought. On the plus side, at least that redder wasn't gonna go after me. Mm. <sighs> Come on, that's what I was trying to avoid. Because the cart's so much heavier, I can't bonk them. Said I get bonked. Yeah, the right should go good. Be fine now. There we go. God. <laughs> oh my god. Both the friggin' bonks and the fact that I'm so close to the edge. <sighs> oh, come on. Taking my items. God, can't hold an item for the life of me. That would have been a nice uh, comeback if that was the final lap. Barely sneak in the wind. No, missed the beast pads. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> that Bowser shell, man. God, the freaking hazards. I got that star. Yeah, 
I'm keeping this shell. <laughs> Lord knows they'll try to throw three reds right before I get to the finishing line. Or uh, finish line. My god. <laughs> the chaos. Stupid, massive Bowser shell. <laughs> there was, I don't think there was a way to avoid that. Considering it covered like most of the uh, the track, considering how big it is. One sec. Add six to the mounter. Somebody threw a bomb on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the blue shell dodge, man. <laughs> oh. oh, glad I got that on camera. are insanely hard to pull off. I wanted one of those mushrooms, but oh well. Oh, there's another blue. Blue shell dodges for days. No, I got pretty lucky pulling that off. You basically have to use the mini turbo to boost at the right time, just as the shell's about to uh, actually strike you. Not that I would be attempting on something like that on 8, it's not even possible anyway. 
naturally, nin naturally Nintendo patched it by the point eight came out. I think it was in for a couple, uh, a couple releases after Double Dash, but I know eight they fixed it, so it actually just straight up never stops tracking the player. My guess is some players are actually quite skilled at Ooh. blue shell dodging. And they want to make sure the blue shells actually hit their mark. Which, let's be fair, a blue shell will always hit its mark. No, oh, somebody hit the big banana. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Bot. Toadettes. Toadette and Toad's uh, special item, the Gold Shroom. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get a red shell dodge, but... Didn't quite have the turbo ready. Oh! <laughs> okay. I've never seen a blue shell go backwards before. Like that. I mean, it makes sense. I'm right behind them, but... Uh... Yep, oh, hey. You, you, you missed the blue shell dodge earlier. Managed to avoid getting hit by the thing. And those things are supposed to home uh, home in on you, and they're supposed to be un uh, unavoidable, unless you have a star. Or a well-timed mini-turbo. Oh, nice. Don't mind if I do. Damn pokies. Eh, no worries. I mean, you gotta get the presents all wrapped up for the kids. Tornado. Or should I say a twister? It's a goddamn twister. Too, I was too early on the dash. I was like, come on. <laughs> like, can I get another? Oh. Well, I hit, hit one and uh, blocked the shell. Nice. Oh! 
Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. When the game gets unfair. Well, that was BS. Gr Double red, ended into a blue shell, and I got bonked. And noted on the uh, sparkling wrapping paper. Yeah, that combo, the combos that I got hit by, that's why people don't like Double Dash a lot. Or have issues with it. Because the AI basically cheats at that point. Because it's like stupidly aggressive. Like way more than it should be. Didn't get didn't get second, but I got third at least. Wanted that double item block. Just barely missed that mushroom. Oh, come on. I'm Unlike Billy with uh, using emulation, uh, yeah, but yeah, it, it's pretty. It gets pretty bad. Like, like I said earlier, double red into a blue, and then get it. Well, the bumping is just coincidental, but it's likely gonna happen considering I just got hit by three objects and I couldn't move for like probably close to eight seconds. And since the AI often is only like probably four seconds behind on average, it, you are guaranteed to get hit by something, uh, get sent back. Yeah, my brother's act actually was going through eight uh, Mario Kart eight a couple weeks ago when he came by, and he said 200 CC is stupidly hard. He's like, I kid you not, you literally, you literally have to break. It's the one thing you never really do in Mario Kart is break. But you have to because the cart is moving so fast. <laughs> and obviously the AI is probably even more cheap than it is in Double Dash. hit by my own shell. 
Oh my god. That's a slap in the face. Hey, I got him though. 360 no scope. As they don't get chomped by the piranha. Bowser. Nobody wants you here. Oh no, there's a star. Is that shell? I better not get hit by my own item block, fake item block. <laughs> On the plus side, regarding the Billy Mitchell cheating thing, at least the AI will admit that they cheat. And not call themselves the video game player of the century every time he has to have an introduction. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking chaos. just really bad placement for that banana. I have to try to remember it's still there. On the way back. For the final lap. No! Oh my god. See? That's what I mean. Hit him. 
Oh my god, you kidding me? <laughs> Could have passed, but nope. I need the worst luck. Let's go! Let's go! I can still hear that blue shell hissing. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Nine hundredths of a second ish. Oh my god. Usually it's not that tight. Like it's a couple seconds normally. Ugh. that goddamn friggin' item. I got friggin' hit by a red shell, bon bonked into the friggin' piranha plant, and then I get hit by a red and then a blue. <laughs> and I just barely managed to take first back. I was skinning my friggin' teeth. There is a better cart than this one, but... Don't know when I'm gonna get it. Same stats, but it's uh, a little bit heavier. Obviously, this has a weight of one, so I can get bonked by pretty much everything in the game. I was wondering when the game was going to start doing that. Nintendo and their cheat cheating rubber banding. Still not as bad as the Goron race in uh, Majora's Mask. <laughs> I've seen speedrunners do that where they get so far ahead and then all of a sudden you look at the dots where the Gorons are supposed to be. They literally are going, like, several times faster, if not, like, ten times as fast as, the, as you can actually go <laughs> when they're off-screen. Basically, that's how it in the game ensures the Gorons are always on you. But yeah, it, the, the, they move stupidly fast. Uh, I was gonna go for the, the shell dodge, but fortunately, it cut the it cut the corner. Well, that was a bit of BS. Kyle's probably having PTSD because I'm going through this stage.
Go away, goddammit. Nobody wants you here. Another, another false uh, start. No way, God damn it. shells. Oh! Managed to avoid that, though. Only because the tracking had issue following my position as I bumped off that, uh, corner. with the fake block. No! Every time. hit by my own banana peel. Sit down. Enough of your bullshit. Some really bad turns. How 
the hell? I hope Bowser hits that freaking shell. I was hoping that bonk actually would have helped me dodge the blue shell. Because I have gotten a dodge like that before, but... Yet again. Yet again, it was way too early. How the hell? No! No! Oh my god. That was bold. literally no way to dodge that except like barely make it around that's the card I want to use I was like, what? I'm like, oh, yeah. That's something you and your boy have, have in common. Perfect. Knocked him right off the edge. Couldn't have been more perfect. Quite literally, couldn't have been more perfect. Much as they hate having to use a red on that, better than getting hit. That red is really that red shell is really trying to hit me. It's like he has too big of a gap. Not gonna jinx it, but it's probably gonna be lightning, a red, a couple reds, and a, probably a blue. And maybe a fall off the ledge. That'll level it out for the playing field. Now yeah, it's just me being stupid. Also wanted to make sure it would actually uh, hit the shell.
I had a hunch that boost was going to knock me over. Of course it did. Come on, I just got back up. It's off. Oh my god. Be careful. Make sure I don't hit them. Of course I missed the item block. Come on. I was hoping the red shell would have changed its target, but looks like it was already uh, hell-bent on targeting me. Oh. God damn it, Bowser, and your stupid fire barriers. I already tell it's going to be hell, hell on the final lap. Trying to get through that loop. Oh, it looks like quite a few of the oh, my opponents hit them. Oh, I hear that. A wonderful sound.
Honestly surprised that sound doesn't give me PTSD. Considering how many times I've been smacked by those things before. Okay, on to the worst stage in the game again. For the upteenth time. Nope. See, it wouldn't want to be ya. I think that actually helped getting bonked. Because the shell, the red shell, pretty sure it was gonna go for me, was. Went for the, uh. No. How far ahead was DK? Holy hell. God, I love when there's bananas and I can't see them. Not the worst item to get, but... Not a particularly good one. There's not a lot of straight, straight areas. This is probably the most straight the track gets. It still avoided them. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's a banana peel. Oh my god. Man, the blue shells. <laughs> Those were ruthless. Alright, I believe that unlocks the all... All tour cups, yep. Let's go. 
Which is a nice way of saying, yeah, that's gonna take like 35 to 40 minutes. Because now I have to do all 16 tracks. Per, per speed to unlock Mir. And Mir has an all-star cup. Or an all-tour cup. Guess the AI won't be stupid right now. Not as bad as that, what, what, what is it, the, G, the GT1 or GT2 endurance race where it's like nine hours? Pretty sure it was two. Ah, why am I doing so bad? Oh my god. What the hell is gonna play for 24 hours straight? Well, I don't mean straight straight, but like, keep the console on for that long. Just had to get a bonk in there. Ironically, we had both uh, PS2s. We had an original, we had an OG black, fat PS2, and then we got a silver slim. Ironically, my brother still has the slim. I, I think the original fat one got destroyed because my brother uh, hacked it, but. Due to the fragile rib ribbon connector operating the power and eject buttons. Yeah. Not saying we're rough with it, but it's just a bad combo. Or it stopped working. I think the disk drive stopped working. I think it was the disk drive. Because I recall trying to play through KH2, I would get to Port Royal, which is pretty early on. It's not like the first world, but it's one of the first few. And yeah, I would literally get to the first cutscene, and the game would just lock up because I couldn't uh, read the data off the disc. Even if the disc was completely cleaned and scratch free. Kinda reminds me of uh not my my very last Xbox 360 that I had, but the one prior to that. I had a white one that I got when I graduated public school. Uh the disc drive basically started failing on it. Because the discs could not have a single scratch on them. The drive wouldn't even recognize the disc. So I had to go get another one. On the plus side, neither of those uh, got red ring. 
because they're from a later revision, so Red Ring had long since been fixed. Although we did have one that actually did Red Ring. Red Ring and uh, the power supply failed as well. Which ironically also had a, a red LED indicator. Yeah, well, it also didn't help that my brother uh, got my dad to uh, basically cut half of the, the shell out. Like that, that, the right half, which had the disk drive, so you could perform the disk swap. Because I think it was more of a soft mod. I know, I know it wasn't a hard mod, I know that. I find it funny, blue shells are supposed to be in 50cc, but like the AI never gets them. Not that I'm complaining. I just find it ironic. It's like, oh 50, they don't have they don't ever use them. 100 maybe. 150 in mirror. Eh, if it happens, it happens. That's what I feel like the AI does. Oh, sorry. You mean you wanted to win? No. Sorry, I gotta hit you with two or three red shells, a lightning, and a blue shell all at the same freaking time. And send you back to the middle of the pack. I can get the... Okay. Ah, oh, nah. I was gonna try to see if I could long shot him, but positioning was off. Damn. Forty-one seconds. Add four more to the meander. Okay, how many more? So, okay, one one fourth of the way. Bowser. Nice. Yeah. 
So I finally worked on my first uh, encoding project in... I think it was six months, so half a year. I'm pretty sure I stopped and I retired before uh, summer. Or around summer. No, it was summer. I had, to, I had to relearn a little bit. Like, everything was there. It's just like, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> all, all my stuff, obviously, is automated to the point where I don't have to do a lot. It's just like, oh, yeah, this is here. This does this. And this has to be changed. Needless to say, a little rust, a little rusty. <laughs> no, goddamn tables. Aside from being a little bit rusty, I... it's about what I expected it to be when I got back into it, just for a little bit. Not nothing's changed <laughs> since I since I retired. The initial feeling like I got many many years ago, I don't think I'll ever get back. Not saying it won't ever happen, but it'd be very hard to do. Oh, I just barely missed. Come on. Oh, a nice bank shot. i sure I just looped Bowser, laughed Bowser twice. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he would have hit the banana peel, but... Still had a little bit of eye frames. From the, uh, getting hit by my previous shell. Man, those Bowser shells don't get any smaller. <laughs> How the hell did it get there?
honestly, depending on how if if the site manages to last longer than I anticipate, which the way things are going, I'm not suspecting will it happen. I might just do a couple of my Blu-rays that I said I was gonna do, and then might just relinquish the rest. Whoever wants to do them. Because even if I dropped all my, you know, some streams down if I have to, once the new year starts and I figure out my new schedule, uh, I just don't, I just don't feel the desire to do it anymore. Like, I spent the last eight years doing that stuff. Working day in, day out. Especially when I was fan subbing. And I didn't get much out of it, so it's like. Like everything in life, it's an it's a net it's inevitable. Something will come to an end. I know, I know you're saying that more hypothetically for the ashamed part, but obviously I don't feel any shame for that. The staff appreciate it, which is ultimately the ones I'm the most concerned about. Still, I still remember when I had to had to tell the Almighty God herself. Yeah, that I was considering uh, retiring from fan subbing and just handling the uh, my admin duties. I feel like it was a bit of half and half when she went when the one of the messages I saw was just no with like nine to ten O's. <laughs> but in all seriousness, she she was obviously going to respect my decision. Regardless of what one I went with. And obviously thank me for all the stuff I've done over the years. Ma mainly taking on uh, her requests for projects because nobody else wanted to. Eventually I became the only person she could give requests to because nobody else would take the damn things. <laughs> Every time a request came in, and I'd be the one to do it because nobody wanted to do it, and I was like, well, it's a donation request, so it's supposed to be prioritized. I remember towards the end, uh, she, she, had to, she had to say a few times, like, and by, I mean, get the project done, I mean, get it done within a month, not three three to six months down the road because <laughs> obviously we all knew where most of the staff were in terms of backlog and everything and just life so requests would come in one week and it'd be up the next week So it's the stuff with the site is different than my actual work, like the one I actually get paid for. My job, because it's not. Well, I call everyone on the site basically my second family, and I think that would be a pretty accurate term. Ironically, uh, one one of our staff, we uh, we we joking with him. Uh, I didn't. I never did. But you could think of his him as the dad. But it's like not saying that's not accurate. But I think most people would probably agree I'd be more like the dad. We 
because of all the stuff I did for the site. There's a problem. Well, I got. I'm. I'm usually the one to fix it. Unless it was legitimately something I couldn't fix. Like I didn't have access to something, so that's beyond my control. But most of the time, I was able to figure it out one way or another. Without, as long as I didn't need access to something. Well, in my case, I'd be the vi the vice CEO because I'm technically se I'm technically second in command, but yeah. Yeah, she is quite the uh, ex eccentric person, to say the least. <laughs> Good person to work with, but by God, never piss her off. And I don't mean she has a short temper. She actually is quite... Good at controlling her emotions, but... Piss her off. Uh, you best be in for a world of pain. She might not be physically there, but she cannot. She won't mince any words like me. And sh and they'll hurt. <laughs> Thankfully, most of the staff are stupid enough not to do that, or smart enough to not do that. I should say, if they are stupid, they would they would do that. Oh, fun fact, back, back when I was just a, rook, a rookie, I think I was within like my first year or something, but I can't remember what the comment was about specifically. What wasn't a snarky comment, actually, it was just asked, somebody was asking about something. Jesus Christ, why are there so many bananas? Uh, and then they apologized if their English was bad because it wasn't their first language. She's naturally, we're all staff, so we can see all the comments. So she sees my comments, and she chimes in by saying, Stop being the cliche boyfriend. <laughs> like, uh, mine's like, uh, okay. Wasn't going for that, but okay.
Nice. Oh my god, that was pure carnage back there. Why must there be so many bananas? Yeah, I think that would be a more accurate one. Not that I wouldn't necessarily be the vice CEO in terms of th authority, but yeah. I very much won't deny that. <laughs> People have problems, they often just send me DMs like, oh hey, this doesn't, this, this isn't working, or uh, the latest stuff with the uh, Imgur starting to mass delete stuff on the site for images. That spawned the whole need for me to, to develop an AI uh, image scraper. Worked on that a little bit before the stream. And to uh, start working on the other staff members' posts. Checking the scripts and making sure they actually work. I had to, had to create a, a whole new version. Well, okay, a modified version. Because some of the posts followed a, f a specific format, but some of the uh, some of them followed a slightly different one. So I had to uh, I had to get ChatGPT to rewrite some stuff. I had to get it to. Basically, I had to use some conditionals. Say, hey, look, look for both of these. If you don't see the one, check for the other one. If both are not present, then you can actually error out the message to the, uh, the error log file. Because otherwise, you would hit uh, the posts that didn't fall the one format, which is the main one. Yeah, I was like, oh, god damn it. Like, because at first I was just gonna like individually look at the links and just do the images themselves, but when I saw like, I think it was like 20 or 30 in the error log, I'm like, yeah, that's a no. I damn near had to tell ChatGPT like four times. Because <laughs> it basically kept uh, rewriting the same response. It's like, no, this. I want both checks. <laughs> because what it was doing, it was only checking for one, even though both were supposed to be, uh, supposed to be checked. It was only checking for the first one. Uh, it was checking the first one, finding it. The problem was, because it wasn't using a conditional, it would try to check for the second. Which, obviously, if it's not present in the post, is going to trigger the, the error message. And it wouldn't actually scrape anything. Because, obviously, that's what I program. That's, that's what it's supposed to do. I had to help one of my jun juniors out the other day. And he, he sent me a DM like, I think it's almost been a couple weeks, but uh, I told him like, I'll, I'll let the almighty God know. <laughs> and 
And if I don't get a response back in a certain time, like, you may have to do it yourself. Because at that time, I didn't have all the scripts worked out yet. So I obviously wasn't going to mention the possibility of that. Because I don't want to have to mention it and then I immediately have to rescind it. It's like, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> but I did, so... Got everything set up and uh, had it all done. Had all his posts updated within. It was like five minutes. Because the script runs as fast as it can. Thank God for automation. Because otherwise, I would have been like, I, I ain't touching that. Been using ChatGPT for pretty much all this year. Like, not the, maybe not the full full year, but this is the year when it started. Because I had to start doing a bunch of tasks, and it's like, yeah, no, AI, AI is helping me. Obviously, there are benefits of actually learning how to do it, but at the same time, it's not that I can read the code that it's printing out. I can read the language perfectly fine. And it will, provided it doesn't misunderstand what I tell it. I try to be as simple as possible so it doesn't, but it can happen. When I tell it what I, when I tell it what I need it to do. And then what language I want it built in. A lot of the stuff is built in JS, so JavaScript. That's what the uh, image scraper and uh Post automation is is run under. Well, that runs under Node.js technically, but same as my Discord bots. The only reason I didn't do something like, uh, well, the automation stuff for the site I can't do with uh, Python. It's not possible. But I could have possibly written the bots in Python, but I didn't want to. Not because I don't know how to write Python code, I kind of do, to a point. But, uh, it's the fact that I I would have to set up a, a developer environment in a kind of weird way. Because of the encoding stuff. Because I need a really old version, I think it, it can't, I think it's 3.6. Uh, and I believe current version of Python is 3.11, so that's like a good three to four years old. But there's deprecated code in there, in the scripts that I use. And unfortunately, uh, the, the, side, the number of lines in the script is too damn big. <laughs> so I can't just like import the whole file content into ChatGPT to get to fix it with a later version. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's some weird uh, I don't know if it's regex, but it's so, it's something weird. Reminiscent of regex. 
that got uh, changed. I think it was in three point, uh, or not? Yeah, three point seven. Ironically, your favorite stage is the last stage. That was a ripoff. Having to start using my middle finger for the right trigger, <laughs> my finger start, left in, uh, my index finger starting to get a little sore. Not saying that didn't happen in Celeste, it kind of did, but I wasn't holding my finger very long on grab usually. Rainbow Road. Oh, wait, I got two more tracks. What the hell am I thinking? I was kind of thinking that. I was like, where the hell is Rainbow Road? I, I don't want this stage, but it is part of the 16. Say, where the hell did that come from? Perfect. Triple red. Just what I needed. I assume that's a... Uh... A Gran Turismo reference. Not not overly familiar with the games as much as uh, other ones, especially their first two.
Oh, I think you may have mentioned that one then. I can guarantee you that you have. God, that does sound awful. Sharp turns and speed changes, the worst thing for a fast car. Miss the star there. Hopefully, I can get it on the way back, though. Hey, there's there's another one. Don't mind if I do. At least I got the boost. Oh my god. Out of stars. <laughs> okay, so pretty sure the star despawned, or somebody actually got it. Fake block. Piss off!
Guys talk gotta start talking about how the government is bollocks. Like the sex pistols. <laughs> come come onto stage. Blaze out of my mind on a uh, call of the white liquor. <laughs> and can't reach your base. Holy hell. Items. Okay, calm down there, Joseph Paul Watson. I'll have to stick you in time out again. Ironically, I can time you out. I'm not going to. <laughs> but ironically, I have that ability. It's a good thing I didn't make the miss as a mod right for that. She might have to put you in time out. There's possibility. 30. <laughs> That's not libertarian. want to keep going. <laughs> I mean, it's only 1.30, but kind of getting bored. Yeah, I think I'll call the stream early tonight, and I'll try to resume this tomorrow. And tr don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but I should at least be able to finish off the rest of the... Uh... Yeah, I probably will be able to finish most of it, the game. As always, if you enjoy the content and you're not already following either my YouTube or my Twitch accounts, feel free to drop a follow below to get notified when I go live. And I'll see you in the next stream tomorrow.